Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video is I'm gonna be doing this look right here and it's done and then I really love this look because I you know what this is the first time I use a yellow shade on my list which is kind of weird but it looks right it looks okay with the makeup look because I am also using a I am also using yellow shade on my lid so it's just right so if you're interested and if you want to see how I did this look then please keep on watching <laughs> foundations on concealer and the powder the baking now I'm gonna proceed to my brows I'm gonna use this um, billion dollar brows universal brow pencil I got this from my boxy charm and yeah um, I like it because it has this fully so brush this here it's kind of messy and I'm just first outlining before filling in those spaces my hair color is really dark so i'm gonna add more like on the outlines i'll outline it under under my brows using this brand right here it's so funny because i am using a like eye gel eyeliner and this is by the brand maybelline um uh, eye studio so what I do is I just, yeah, outline it like that and uh, also darken the edge of my brow so it looks like, like intense. So I guess we're done with our brows. They are not, they are not twins. They are just sisters. So <laughs> because they are not identical, I know I'm going to fix that later. But first is we'll proceed to our eye makeup so i'm gonna be using this carity professional palette right here every time i create a makeup look i always ends up reaching for this palette right here look at the colors it's like all of the shades that you're looking for especially if you're if you want a colorful makeup look everything is seems like already in this palette right here and from darkest to the uh, lightest or colorful shades are it's well arranged i'm gonna swatch one shade for you so you would see how pretty this palette is once it is swatched and not only when you swatch it but as well as when you put it on your lid so this one right here this is so pretty and oh my god see how pigmented is that you know what the only thing if you don't want a a eyeshadow that stains your skin then this one really stains your skin it's really pigmented i've purchased this a long time ago but i never regretted it because the quality is really it is really a good quality palette so for our transition shade i'm gonna be picking this brown shade right here is it as intense as the other one right here looks like it's not so i'm gonna add more okay so i guess that's done now we'll proceed to our second shade and that will be this burlesque shade right here it looks so pretty so yeah i'm excited i'm gonna swatch this one for you so you would see how pretty this purple is there. <gasps> oh more 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 see that so see it is indeed very pretty so I'm gonna be still using the same brush as what I use for my transition shade in dipping my brush there so I'm just gonna stamp this second color right here and brush it a little so it's like that and then I'm gonna I, I wanted to concentrate more on the outer V and lower part of my crease or lid and then i am seeing a harsh transition between the two colors so i'm going back to my transition shade and blend them together so they have a smooth transition 
something locking it's already intense but i want it more intense now i'm gonna be grabbing this black shade right here and concentrate on my outer v and i'm gonna dip it on the black shade so i'm just gonna stamp the black shade right here and um, I am seeing a bit patchiness, so I'll go back to our second shade, and that was burlesque, and then I'm just gonna blend them together so it won't create a black really most of the time. It created a very harsh, harsh pigment. Sometimes it looks patchy, like part of it is super intense, and some some of it, some part of it it's not, so it's more on patchy side. Now I'm just gonna slightly press the brush on my skin just to get enough pigment and yeah just blending it So I got here my concealer. It is by Wet n Wild Photo Focus in the shade of Ivory. I'm gonna be using this on my inner V2 almost at the center of my um, eyelid because I will I will be next shade is this one right here yellow and sometimes I always want a very pigmented yellow but I don't use concealer so I could not get a good uh, color payoff so I'm gonna try concealer see if it works So I just place less concealer so it's not super wet and I don't have to wait for it to dry. So just a little will do. Now this is ready for the yellow shade. Well, well for my left side, so I'm going to be showing it to you. I'm using flat brush. See, I did not wait for my concealer to dry so... I don't normally use concealer when it comes to like like makeup look but I guess makeup concealer is really helping show the pigments of the eyeshadow now it's time to use the LA color um, eyes pigment pow powder the yellow shade so it's powder and a bit shimmery and it looks lighter so um, I'm gonna top coat the yellow shade as it looks yeah it, it looks intense but I want it a little bit shimmer now I'm gonna be grabbing this brush right here a very a flat small brush so I won't mess up the look big big um, brushes could tendency include the part where and you don't want to be included so that's why I'm going to use this flat brush right here. I'm going to use again Boles, still using the same brush as what I used for my yellow shade. So Okay, so I guess this is enough. Now I'm gonna do a wing liner on this lip. Okay, so got it. Um, the other side is thinner and the other side is, it looks big. So I think I'm gonna adjust right here because it's easy to adjust like that than this one. So if I'm going to do a correction on this side right here, then I have to erase. Oh, I made a mistake. So I guess I'm just going to clean this side right here. And that's it. And then for my mascara, I'm going to be using this one right here. Super Fan by Smashbox. So I'm not going to finish putting mascara because I'm not done with my lower lid. Lower lid is all right. I still have to put colors in there, so that's why. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to be mixing the transition shade and burlesque, these two together. And 
this in that by the way I am using Murphy brushes when it comes to my lower lash makeup I always use this brush right here um, it's a pencil very tiny cute pencil brushes I love them because they work well okay so more careful I did not blend on what I should be putting on my lower lash line but I think this shade works because it's the same shade as what I use on my um, lid, upper lid so that's it and then um, I'm gonna be adding black so same colors so same colors that I used earlier so same brush oh no the brush that I'm going to be using is this one right here, the smallest tiny pencil. So, dipping it. Okay, so just right on the tight line, adding a little bit of, just to deepen it. And I think that's it. Now I'm gonna apply my mascara once again. And now I am already holding this bronzer right here. This is by Too Faced and this is Chocolate Salil bronzer in the shade of uh, medium deep matte so this one right here and then for my brush i'm going to be using this luxie 522 tapered highlighter so yeah i could still use this as my hi to apply my bronzer slash contour because yeah like we could use our brush whatever we want them to we whatever how we want them to be to use and then that's it and if you're seeing a lot of white shit white shit on my hair there it's from my bb cream because it did not like being moved or brushed and mixed with other other stuff so i replaced it already now i i am wearing this milani conceal conceal plus perfect foundation it looks it looks better now than earlier now for my blush on i'm gonna be using this anastasia beverly hills this is their blush trio cocktail party and i'm gonna picking up this um this center color right here and this is called scorching so i'm just gonna do it apply it probably carefully because it's pigmented and it's super peachy Okay, that's it. It looks pretty now. Oh, yes. You got it, girl. Pretty. Now, my lips looks a bit boring, right? Compared to the eyes. So, I think I'm gonna use, since I don't have a top coater, I'm just gonna use this LA one right here and this pencil brush once again. And probably pat a little bit of pigments onto the inner corner of, inner corner, <laughs> like center of my lips. I'm not sure if this is a good idea, but... I don't know. So. Okay, so I guess this is by, this is I preferred lick, uh, lip lick, lip color because it fits to my eye makeup. And now for my highlighter, because I haven't used any highlighter yet, I'm taking Lorac and this is Twilight. There you go. So one right here. I like it like that. And one right here. See that glow? And then for the nose is I'm gonna switch brush. And normally I don't I don't exert effort on the nose on the bridge of my nose. And dot right here. 
I got here um, Tarte Ready Set Radiant, this setting spray right here, and I'm going to set this face. Okay, so I want it super wet, so all of the powders on my skin just sink in perfectly. So I'm going to drop my hair down. I think I like it like this. And yeah, this is the completed look. Um, let me see. I like the look. It looks so pretty. I don't know. There is something missing on my face. I think I have to add more um, blush on because it's still it looks pale. Because in here in person it's enough, but on cam like what it needs more, more color. I guess that's it. And more on this side right here. And blend it. Oh my god, I like this look. Okay, so, okay, guys. It's so easy. I really wish I had a good lip color so I could use and you know what my lips is natural so it's more a lot of cracks you can see a lot of cracks right there it would be nice if I have a like in fillers on my lips and it would it will be very smooth right there so this is the complete look guys I am so happy of the outcome. I, you saw it that I used this shade right here for my lip color, but it doesn't. Something's missing, so that's good thing. I I've played my creativity. Good thing my creativity just. Okay, let's try yellow. This is the first time I used this yellow shade, and it looks weird, but it looks right because I also use yellow shade on my lid it looks so I like it so much do you like it then if you do then please don't forget to click the like button and if you're not subscribed then please do subscribe so you would you would be also don't forget to click the bell notification bell so you would be notified every time I upload a new makeup look reviews most of the time reviews and yeah and I'm so happy of the result of this look so yes guys, see you on my next post. Thanks for watching. I love you. Bye.